let us all go back to that old landmark. One thing that is constant in any vocal group is change. And we couldn't truly tell the story of the Gaither Vocal Band without mentioning this crazy character from Houston, Texas, who joined us in 1988. When Mark Lowry came along, our image as a serious vocal group experienced a radical transformation that forever changed the vocal band legacy. It started to turn when, when Mark came and it was so much fun to see the group. You oh, know? yeah. That, and, and, that, that was when it changed. Yeah. And the, the humor. And I totally didn't know what you were up to. <laughs> I had no, I'm like, I just see this guy come through the door and I'm thinking, I hope he's driving the guy here. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember you saying, Bill, are you serious? Yeah. Are you going to really hire this guy? Yeah. And I said, I wanted a singer. I'm yeah. like, we need a singer. I realized he could sing. Yeah. <laughs> but he could not sing harmony. Remember? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, we, we had to teach him the harmony parts, but he was a fast learner. Yeah, he was. He, remember, he used to send the, send the stuff home with him on the records. You'd send the, the, the part home with him. Just his part. Just his part. He learned it like a solo. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. But he learned it. And I can remember the first few uh, weeks on the bus with him, it, you know, you, you, you were saying, this guy's driving me nuts. Oh, you know, and, uh, is this going to work? Loud. Just <laughs> loud. I'm not used to that. <laughs> Cutting his toenails up on the, 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 the table that I eat on. <laughs> <laughs> he says, my microphone, one of these hits, you just use it as a toothpick. <laughs> like, That's just my time to go to the back of the bus. 